So is there truly justice after you've been screwed over by the system? You've been arrested, you're sitting in jail, you've been imprisoned, you've been imprisoned for years, you've had property taken away, or you have something else happen to you, and it's been years later, and suddenly something gets overturned, or new evidence comes up, or evidence comes up for the first time, because you know you can go to jail without evidence, right? Have you truly gotten justice because they decided to leave you alone? Now, where does this come from? You remember last week, if you were watching, I did a video called You Don't Own Your Own Home, or You Don't Own Your Home, not really. And I gave an argument for why owning a house and owning a property doesn't really mean that you do. And I mentioned Eileen Batiste in this. And this was a woman in Pennsylvania who, because of a $6.30 oversight, it was a $6.30 penalty on taxes that she owed. She paid the taxes, but didn't realize that she owed $6.30 and they took her home. The county in Pennsylvania where she lives, I don't remember the county, they took her house, sold it at auction, sold it for a fraction of the value, uh, less than half of the value, over $6.30. They screwed this woman over. Well, I got, an e I got a message in the message board on that video, and I'm, I'm gonna read it to you. And that's what sparked this particular discussion, so I'm gonna get into that in a minute, but listen to this first. It says, that woman Eileen Batiste won her case and got her home back. I guess there was justice for her. That decision was years ago. Strange that you didn't mention it, but I guess it didn't fit your rant. FYI, leaving out obvious facts is the same thing as lying. Well, I guess this person must think that I was being sensationalist by omitting something. Bottom line is, I didn't know that she had won an appeal. It's as simple as that. Evidently, in 2015, it was 2011 when they took her house. So in 2015, apparently, on a, I believe it was a second appeal, the judge overturned the county's decision and told her she could have her property back. Wasn't aware of that. I didn't see a story for that. Not until I looked for specifically um, information on her house, on the, the decision being overturned, rather. Wasn't aware of it. Wasn't being sensationalist. If I was being sensationalist, I would have a much better intro. <laughs> I'd have car chases and explosions and shit. Sorry, it's a plain mug. I know, I know, I'm faltering here. It's just a plain old mug. But keep in mind, I am moving, so all the good stuff is packed. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I've got maybe a week left, and then I'm, I'm gone. Although I will try to keep the videos going. I'm not going to let the... Hopefully, I won't be able to let the videos be interrupted. I'm going to keep putting them out. But anyway, this person implies that I deliberately omitted facts. Didn't. I just didn't know. This is not scripted. Nobody's writing this for me. I'm not reading it off of anything. I just talk. Okay? Very conversational, my videos. But that's not really what I'm focusing on here. I'm focusing on the other statement. It says, quotation, I guess there was justice for her. But was there? Let's talk about that. Four questions really quick pertaining to Eileen Battisti. Number one, is she going to get her four years back? Okay, it was 2001 when they took her home, 2015 when uh, an appellate judge finally said, yeah, this is stupid, um, you can have your house back. The county was wrong for doing that to you. So number one, is she gonna get her four years back? The answer is no. She's not going to get that time back. She's not going to be able to be compensated for the emotional distress, the uh, mental anguish or whatever else from all that she would have had to deal with with the county selling the house out from under her and trying to put her out, her and her child. If I, I remember, I, uh, sorry, I had mentioned that she's a widow and she has a handicapped child. Okay? She can't get those four years back, no. Number two, is she going to be compensated for her legal fees? That's four years worth of attorney's fees. Is she gonna get that back? No, she is not. They're not going to compensate it for her. She should count her blessings she even got her house back. Number three, will the appeal decision set precedence towards future cases or situations like this? No, absolutely not. If something like this comes up again, 
that county will do the same damn thing to somebody else. It's not going to change how that sort of thing is done. They will screw over the next guy just as quickly as they screwed over uh, Eileen Battisti. Okay? And then fourth, what is the real reason for this appeal? Because this became a big news story in 2014. The house, the, the sheriff's sale was in 2011, if I'm remembering this correctly. 2014 is when it went really public. It became national news and, and then even international news because of how ridiculous the story was. And so then somewhere in 2015, four years later, suddenly an, an appellate judge is like, uh, or I believe it was an appellate judge. Like I said, I'm not reading this off the thing. I'm, talk I'm just talking. But whatever judge it was overturned the decision and said that it was unusual for them to do that to her and it wasn't fair. So why did he do it is the question because every other time the judge didn't give a damn. Is it because they actually acknowledged that it was wrong to do that? Or is it because there was so much bad press at the time and it was getting embarrassing for Pennsylvania and for that county? And maybe the governor, um, while he was out playing golf with some of the local judges, said, hey, uh, hey, Joe, this is getting stupid. Give that woman her house back and make it go away because I don't want to hear about it anymore because that's how a lot of things get done. So, I mean, that's your, your, my four basic questions, and you do, it, do with it whatever you will. Four basic questions. Did she really get justice? Because in the end, they let her have her house back? Because a lot of injustice was done to her in the meantime. During that four-year period, a lot of injustices were done to this person. And a lot of other people, they just didn't get the same kind of press. Is it justice if somebody sits in prison for 20, 30 years on a murder or a rape charge and then finally, finally DNA evidence it shows that they had nothing to do with it and they've been claiming their innocence the whole time and then they're released? They're finally released after 20 or 30 years. Did they get justice? Can they get their 20 or 30 years back? Can they get their jobs back, their life back, their loved ones? Everything that they lost because of a hasty decision made by a district attorney and a judge and a jury? Because of falsified evidence or whatever other reason? And I don't think this woman got justice. I don't think any of these people truly get justice. Not if they've been screwed over. Because you can't go back and fix it. Time is the one thing you can't get back. You can try to make up for it, you know, you can try to compensate it, you know, sometimes if, when people have been incarcerated for long periods of time, there's supposed to be, a, there's supposed to be a system by which they're compensated for some of that time, but I mean, throwing some money at them doesn't fix the problem, it doesn't repair the damage. And because they gave this woman her house back on an appeal, does it mean she got justice to me? What do you think? You know, if, uh, everybody's opinion counts for something. If you got something to say about that, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. And I will see you again soon.